Hi guys, how's it going? I'm so sorry I'm late, but I did promise to answer your questions. John, you asked me yesterday, why do men lie? Well, men, I think, lie because they know they can get away with it. And it all depends on the lie pet. Is it a little lie, white lie, or a feckin' massive one? In my expert opinion, after having loads of boyfriends and still looking for number one husband, when I caught old boyfriends lying, they do a little thing with their lips like... And I always knew they were lying. So what are you going to do about it, girls? Are you going to put up with it or not? Now, let's not forget, everyone, girls and ladies also lie. Because we have to be fair in this video. Girls sometimes are better liars. Not that I'm speaking from experience or anything. But, yes, we can do... I do maybe a little bit, a lot, uh, maybe a little bit of white lies. Sure, never, little white lies are not as bad as big lies. Um, so yeah, that's what I think. I think men just say a few lies here and there, thinking you won't find out, you won't ask his friends, you won't go down to the bar and go, Jesus, did Johnny go out last night? Because they think you won't do it. So the question I'll ask all you girls, and you Dawn, if anyone has lied to you, if any man has lied to you, what did you do? And how did you confront them and say, Oi, I know you're lying. Did you stay with them? Did you dump them? I dumped all my boyfriends. I was like, yeah, as if I'm going to put up with this. <laughs> Dawn, you asked the other question, why do women like to cry? I think it's just easy. I think if I watch DIY SOS within about five seconds watching the show, I'm like, oh God, oh look at the garden. I'm so, oh God. Uh, if you break up with a boyfriend, you cry. If you get up with a boyfriend, you cry. I think for us girls, I can't really speak for many men out there, but I do think for us, we do cry over everything. It's a little bit by Bridget Jones. We go in with a big tub of ice cream and chocolate and we watch telly and we just cry and because it's just so much easier i just think we're meant to cry dawn you're on a roll tonight you also asked do you tell your best friends everything now i tell them most things i've got three very very good friends from mayo uh from castle bar and i tell them about 98 percent Obviously, Dawn, you keep a lot of your private stuff private between yourself and your husband. You don't go, oh, wait, and I tell you, Mary, you won't believe what happened last night. Well, you know, you don't do anything like that. So just keep it very simple. And um, yeah, obviously your friends are there for support and love. But that's... I think you have to know your friends very, very well, Dawn. And some friends are in sheep's clothes. In other words, they're in disguise. So they think you're your friend and you tell them everything. And then when you fall out with them, they go behind your back and, oh my God, you won't believe what Dawn is on and la 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 la. And you never hear the end of it. So choose. I suppose all I'm saying, Dawn, is please choose your friends wisely. You kind of know after a while if they're really there for you. And they are there when they're for your family, for your children, listen to you when you have bad days. That's it, really. They're just, they have to be there for you, number one. Now, Eamon, you asked the question last night, do I believe in ghosts? Well, I do. Uh, I haven't seen any. But I sense a lot of spirits in my house. Um, sometimes in the corner of the eye, I sometimes feel that someone's going through the wall. Hmm. Now, I would prefer if a ghost got up in the morning, made me a good Irish breakfast and a cup of tea and left a little note saying, love you lots, gotta go. Then I'd think, oh Jesus, God, when, when did that happen? Oh God, that's great and I would believe them. Now, I haven't seen any ghosts during the day. I'm not saying they don't exist, but I haven't seen any. So, Eamon Kavna, do you believe in ghosts? And if you do, you have to tell us what have you seen and what have you heard. But if it's too scary, mm, I get a bit scared. Um, yes, I think ghosts are lovely, I think. But I would be fair if they did all the hoovering, did all this kitchen. So guys, just before I go to bed, I just want to say, like I always say, thank you very much for tuning in. I've had so many people say to me today, oh my God, I think you're mad. And also, you're so funny. I hope I'm making someone out there laugh, no matter what day you're having.